Well, end of a long day at the trials and no one busier than the Rogerson stable and joined by the, well, the master of the stable, Graham Rogerson. Look, Rogie, great to be back, great to be trialling and uh, after a long lockdown, great to be doing what we like doing. Oh, it's great. You know, you had a lot of horses. What, you had 290 odd horses here <laughs> for a trial meeting and <laughs> it's just on dark as we had the last peak, but it was great. Mm. Talk us through lockdown with you. I know that you had a lot of staff on the property, so you were able to tick a few over? Yeah, we kept everyone on, and uh, we worked about 40 through. Mm. And, uh, you know, we had a lot ready, and we showed today, we trolled, I think, uh, 49 today. And uh, we got a few trolling at Ellis, and we got a lot ready to race. Mm. And those races have been brought forward as well, so counties are going to race on the 20th, which is a positive sign. I mean, the NZTR have seen the, the need to have these races and, and you're going to support those? Yeah, well, we definitely will. And it showed you, I think they've got to look for a lot more race days in uh, August. Uh, when you get 290 horses trialling and you'll have another lot trialling at uh, Ellerslie. Uh, I think there was 60-odd two-year-old mm. trial today, so that makes it very good for the two-year-olds. Mm, for sure. Right, out of today, let's see if we can point people in the way of a winner or two. I'm just going to whip through a few that uh, I thought trialled well, and, and you can comment on them. Bowden, he's your best performed horse here today, and uh, he looks super. Yeah, he just had a quiet run round. Uh, doesn't really like it heavy, but I think he's the making to a pretty good horse. The horse that actually beat him in that trial, Parisian, uh, he's not a good leg horse, but he certainly uh, can gallop, mm. and uh, he'll kick off here at the July meeting. Mm. Sweet treat. She was, uh, I thought, pretty good towards the end of her trial. Yeah, she was uh, ready to go with the uh, when the lockdown came, uh, so she'll run in the stay and race here, and she'll be very competitive. She's a little bit better left-handed. One that caught the eye early in the day was uh, in the Cambridge Stud Colours and uh, goes by the name of Tavi Rock. I know you've got a rap on him. Yeah, he's a nice horse. He's Gift of Power's half-brother. Yeah. Uh, we were going to get him ready for the uh, Caracas Million and we decided to wait on him and uh, I think he's the makings of a real good horse and hopefully he'll be heading for the 2,000 guineas and it's good that Brendan's in a horse. There's a group of us on it and... Uh, uh, I think he's the makings of a real good horse. He's a lovely example of a thoroughbred, eh? He's a beautiful horse. Yeah. He's still a colt, so uh, we'll see what happens with him. Yeah, and a couple uh, in the the um, uh, colours of uh, Lou, Delatia and Ala Loon. They both trolled really well. Yeah, they're full sisters. I think Alan Hoon's a genuine group horse. Just had a few little issues and they had a hard campaign early on and we give her a good spell and Lou sent her back looking beautiful and uh, her work's been sensational. She's up to running in the uh, Hawke's Bay Group 1 races and we might look at uh, running her in Australia. We'll see what happens. Uh, and Della Tia, she had a nice quiet trial. She'll run in the two-year-old race here at uh, probably and uh, I think she's uh, a making of our, our, our 2,000 guineas filly. So, just talk us through a mare like Ala Loon to get her to Hawke's Bay. She's sort of trialled up super today. Do you get a rock hard fit? Would you give her a couple of races to take her into that Hawke's Bay Carnival, or is she a fresh mare? Oh, I think she's a very good mare. Mm. Uh, she's, and she's come back a, a lot more settled, and uh, she's certainly developed. Uh, we'll give her a couple of runs, you know, and yep. ha have a look where we head. Um, uh, and then, uh, then we'll work out a sit down with uh, Lou and his wife and uh, Val and yep. sit down and work out a bit of a program where we head with her. Mm. But I think she's come back in. She's a, a pleasure to do anything with. Yeah. Now. Lovely filly. Yeah, she looks super as well. Took us through Bailey. Bailey Rogerson out there uh, riding a few and we saw her have a wee tumble in the back parade ring with one and she's straight back up and onto it. She's as tough as old boots, eh? Oh, yeah. Well, she's uh, <laughs> going to be an apprentice now and she'll ride at Pukekohe and T Rapa and uh, for an uh, apprentice with a four kilo claim that's had, I don't know how many hundreds of trial rides. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, and she's very, very good. She puts in the hours and... Uh, She's tough and she can ride, so uh, she'll have a lot of fun. And uh, 
she's good for the industry. And that's clearly what she wants to do. She really wants to give it a, a crack. Yeah, I'd rather be a, personally, I'd rather be a trainer with me. Yeah. But she wants to be the jockey. So, so we can see who the boss is there, right? <laughs> Granddaughter beats granddad. Oh, you yeah, know. <laughs> we're a good team and a and yeah. mother and a father, you know. It's a good team and I think, personally, I think racing will come back bigger and stronger. They're a tough breed, the racing people, and uh, yeah. if I can do my little bit to get racing really going, I'll be, I'll be very happy, man. And well, uh, having 50 trial today is certainly a big start, and that means that you're going to have plenty of racing, so that's great. Yeah, we'll probably have 40 of them on, the, on here on the 4th of July. Uh, we've got plenty of young ones at home, and we've got a nice team of horses. And, mm. and uh, I've just, racing's been good to me, and I'd like now to, my turn to... Stand up and be counted. Like I said to Winston, you're doing your bit, Winston. I'll have to do my bit. Well, good on you, Roger. We really appreciate your support here at Tarapa and we look forward to the 4th of July and hopefully you and I can bag a winner. Oh, well, we'll be doing that. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Graham. Thank you.